Welcome to the Swedish Maker. Today I'm making a poster with a map over my village. So I was looking around online to find a poster with a map of the village I live in and I found this solution called Mappiful, uh, which is basically a website that creates a poster with a map over anywhere you want. And I thought it was quite expensive, so I thought I'd make my own. So this is how to make a poster uh, with a map over the village I live in. So the first thing I want to do is find a map and uh, I've gone to this uh, website called Snazzy Maps and uh, this is basically a website that provides Google Map styles and I've found one style I liked called Rody and uh, in order to download images from uh, Snazzy Maps you have to have an account so you have to register it's super easy and fast I have the style I want, I just uh, find the location of where I want the map to be and I can come here and download an image. I can also customize the map more if I want to add color to the background or if I want uh, the road names to uh, to appear and uh, yeah, you can basically do anything. But that's not what I want! So I'm just gonna hit download image, I'm gonna change the settings of the size to 800 1000 and I'm going to scale it three times so I'll go ahead and hit download image and I'm just gonna name that anything for now all right so we have our map let's head into Photoshop so I have this uh, Photoshop file I have created the folders and the first thing I'm going to do is use this new tool called um, frame tool and I'm going to create a rectangle I can change the size of this later and from here I can go to file place linked and I will place the image I downloaded from snazzy maps like that now I can adjust the size by using command T on a Mac. I can adjust and move the size of the map right here. And I'll go ahead and put that in my maps folder. And from there I want to duplicate this one. So I'll drag it down there. And now I have a copy and I can name that gradient. So I know if I want to add a gradient to this can click here I'll do a color overlay and here I have the green color and I can uh, adjust the opacity of the green color like this I'm quite happy like that right so we have the map now we want to add some frames to uh, to the map and I'll just use this uh, rectangle tool And I'll create a frame that goes around the edge of the image like this. And I'll set the, um, the width of the frame to 20 pixels. And of course I have to put this uh, folder with the frame on top of, of the um, maps folder. I can just copy this layer as well. And I can change the size of the frame. Let's make that a bit bigger and change the, the pixels of the thickness to 10. We have the map and we have the frame. Let's add some graphics to this or some, some gradient um, right here. So we'll go ahead and hit solid color change that to white and I'll use the gradient tool make sure you have black selected as a foreground color and to create a straight line I'm holding down shift while I do like this and there we have the, the color fill gradient 
All right, so let's head over to the text folder and add some text to this. You can add some lines here in the graphics folder as well. holding down shift to make the line straight and I can just copy that shape and move it over to the other side there we have it so I have uploaded the file to uh, to this Photoshop file you can click the link down below and you'll uh, have to write your email for the newsletter and I'll you'll get the link for the file and you can download it and tweak it all you want uh, you can totally ruin it, it's all fine, do whatever you want with it. If you want to, you can change the, the map, it's real easy, you'll just uh, click the image and go to File, Place Link, you'll swap out the image of my map with your own and you'll, you can change the text to wherever you want as well. So feel free to use it if you want it. I have also added a round kind of a map you can uh, try out, uh, which is also in the Photoshop file and you can, uh, you can show the map as a round image instead. It looks like this. Alright, that's it for this week. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe and hit the thumbs up and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.